Okay, in this video, we are going to look at low power microcontrollers. Now, if you're building a battery powered project, you want your batteries to last as long as they possibly can. So you have to select low power components, and the first component will be the microcontroller. Now, the ARM microcontroller and the 18 Mega 328P microcontroller, which is on Arduino Nano, have low power modes, and you can put them in those modes to bring the power consumption down. But the microcontroller that really shines at being a low power microcontroller is the MSP430, which is made by Texas Instruments. Now this microcontroller is built from the ground up to become a, a true low power microcontroller. And this is the microcontroller here, it comes in a dip package, so it's handy to breadboard. It's a 16-bit CPU, it has 16K of flash, and it has five low power modes. Low power mode 0 to 4. It also has an active mode, that's when everything is enabled. But if you put it into low power mode 4, you could bring the power consumption down to 0.1 microamps. Okay, here's a current versus supply voltage chart for the MSP430 microcontroller in active mode. So all the, all the clocks are enabled. You can see as we increase the supply voltage, the current goes up. And as we increase the clock frequency, the current goes up. So if we're running the, our microcontroller about 3.3 volts at 12 megahertz, we're going to run at about 3 milliamps. And you can see at 1 megahertz, uh, the power consumption is very low. And if, you're, if speed isn't a concern in your project, you could actually run a, a real-time clock crystal, a 32.768 kilohertz clock, and that will even bring the current consumption even lower. Okay, here's a current consumption versus operating modes for the MSP430. And our, our clock speed is 1 megahertz. So in the active mode, when all the clocks are enabled, and we're running it at 1 megahertz, we're going to be drawing 300 microamps. And as we go through our low power modes, all the way down to low power mode 4, you can see there, it's going to go down to 0.1 microamps. Okay, here's a list of internal clocks that are enabled or disabled during the low power modes. You can see low power mode 0, the CPU and the master clock is inactive. And the DCO, that's your digital control oscillator, is available. The SM clock, that's your, your sub-main clock, is available. And your A clock, that's your auxiliary clock, is available. As we go down to uh, low power mode 4, you can see all the clocks are disabled. Now low power mode 0 to 3, we can actually bring it in and out of these low power modes using internal interrupts. But if you go to low power mode 4, where, where all the clocks are disabled, the controller can only be waken up from this mode by an external interrupt. So that's the only difference between the low power modes. The low power mode 4, it has to be awakened by an external interrupt. Okay, here's a block diagram of the internal clocks using the MSP430 microcontroller. If you look at the very top, we can see the low frequency oscillator. That's a 32.768 kilohertz oscillator, and that will give us our A clock. So it's a very low frequency to bring our power consumption down. Now the next two clocks can give us our M clock, which is our main system clock, or our SM clock, which is a subsystem clock. So we have an external oscillator, or, or we have a DCO, a digitally controlled oscillator, which could give us those two clocks. So if you want to learn about the MSP430, it's imperative that you get into the data sheets and learn about all the clocks and all the clock buses, because that's the key to the low power consumption of the MSP430. Okay, I have my MSP430 microcontroller mounted on my breadboard. And I'm using a low component count configuration. You can see I have an LED connected to one of the GPIO lines of the microcontroller through a current limiting resistor. And I have a pull-up resistor and a capacitor for my reset circuitry. Now I'm powering my microcontroller with 3.3 volts. It's getting that through my FTDI module. That's my USB to serial module. So it's getting us 3.3 volts. I also have the UART of the microcontroller connected up to the FTDI module which is connected to my computer. So I have a program running and I can gain access into the microcontroller through the serial port. So I can activate the, the LED, I can make it blink. There it's blinking. And I can send a command to turn it off. She turns it off. So what I'll do, I'll hook up an ammeter up to pin 1, that's VCC pin of the microcontroller, and run it in its active mode and we'll, we'll take a current reading. And I'll put it into the low power mode 4. And we'll take another current reading and we, we could watch the current drop from the active mode into the low power mode 4. Okay, I have my ammeter connected up to pin 1 of my microcontroller. That's my VCC pin. So we can monitor how much current the microcontroller is drawing. And I got it on my microamp range scale. 
So we're drawing 3,788 3, microamps, which is 3.788 milliamps. So if I turn off the LED, we'll see it drop. So it drops down to 2.459 milliamps. So that's how much the microcontroller is drawing right now, running a little program. So if I put it into, into uh, low power mode 4, we could put it to sleep. And we can see how much it draws. So I'll send a command to put it to sleep. And she goes to sleep with 0.1 microamps. So it's in sleep mode. Now to bring it back, I need to bring it back with an external interrupt. And I have that set up for my keyboard. So if I hit any key on my keyboard, it'll set up an external interrupt. And it'll, it'll wake up the microcontroller. So I'll wake it up. I'll give it a, I'll give it a key. We're back with the LED on, drawing 3.78 milliamps. So that's how we put it into low power mode. It's very simple with a MSP430 microcontroller. And we could run our battery powered projects. Okay, here's an example of a low power project, which is battery powered. Now the batteries that I like using in my, my low power projects are made by Keeper. This is a lithium battery. It's a 3.5 volt, 750 milliamp hour battery. And you mount it on a PC board. It's PC board mountable. And they'll put pins or 0.3 inch spacing. So you can mount it on a Vero board or a breadboard. So it's, it's, it's nice for prototyping. Now this product, this low power product, had a 10 year lifespan. So this battery powered this circuit for 10 years. So that's an example how we could actually use low power circuitry to, have, to create a low power product. So I hope this video gives you some ideas how you could actually use MSP430 microcontroller in your low power, battery powered projects.